Again, any single item in the store that doesn't have a price, from shampoos to diapers to even electronics, you are able to do the scanning code of practice. Let's look at this stand. As you can see, only the can opener has its own price tag. So if this item scans incorrectly when you're about to, che to check out, that means you are able to get it for free because it's at $7.98, so under $10. However, as this one doesn't have a price, all you can do is ask customer service for the price and they you will have to pay um, the actual price um, unless you find it somewhere in the store where you could see the price and then it scans wrong but for items that doesn't have um, a price I'm sorry for items that yeah that doesn't have a price like it doesn't have a price on on the item but also doesn't have a price tag around you're not able to do the scanning code of practice now let's look at this stand each item has its own barcode well some of them are the same so for example this happens many times people think oh there's two um two price tags well, they're the same barcode. You're not allowed to take two of them just because there's two and they, both of them have this, the mistake. You're only able to take the first item for free. Or in this case, it's thirteen ninety-eight, so you will get $10 off. Remember, it's always the lowest, pri lowest price. So it will be thirteen ninety-eight minus $10. So you will pay three ninety-eight plus the tax. that if you find items that have a discount or it has a clearance, you're not able to apply the scanning code of practice, and this is wrong. You are actually able to do it. As long, again, as long as the barcodes match. And it's really important, like, it's really important for you to make sure that it's the same item that you're trying to get. And in this case, of course, it will be free because it's under $10. Now, let's look at this stand. It says four ninety four, dollars And you'll, you'll see there's different types. So you have Sesame Street, you have Eric Carl, and you have Play School. There's only one pr price tag on the top, right? So even if they are different barcodes, according to retail of canada i talked to them and i asked them this question twice of course you don't have to believe me you're you know more than welcome to call them actually i will encourage you to call them because that's what it actually gave me so much confidence uh, when i started doing the scanning code of practice so if you go to the to the checkout and you're trying to get the scanning code of practice on the three items just know that you're not doing it correctly i'm not telling you not to do it because some cashiers do not know this but if they tell you that um, you're not supposed to get it because there's only one price tag they are right so don't fight with them they are right and they know their information the same thing is uh you know if you know your information as well so one price tag different opcs just one item So look at this time. So uh, you'll see three items and you're okay, it's $14.99. You go and scan it and it goes higher. But guess what? The UPC doesn't match the items. Like actually check none of them 
match the actual items. So I will assume it's not a scanning code of practice because they, you know, they it's more of a mistake. So usually when I come, like usually because it has the description, right? It has the description, it has the OPC. So you may be able to fight it, you know, because that's what you saw. And the item doesn't have a price on it. But again, the main reason I'm telling you to know your rights is because if you send this as a complaint to the retail of Canada, you may not get your money back. So that's the main issue. It's not you trying to go and get it, but if you're not able to get it and then you pay out of pocket and you're expecting them to give you your money back. Actually, they do take a long time. They do will give you your money back if, if, they, if you are correct, but they do take a long time because they're understaffed. Every single time I call is the same lady. So just be patient with them as well. So another uh, example, and this happens very often. Let's say I'm another customer. I'm like, oh, I don't want this. I'm just gonna put it here. And they leave. And then you come and you're like, oh my gosh. Then for ten dollars, and then of course, this item doesn't belong there, right? Well, you are not able to get the scanning code of practice on this item because it was an error. Somebody just put it there. Uh, some people, you know, and this is a huge item, so you're able to to know <laughs> that it's not from here. But uh, it really happens often where another customer put the item in the wrong place and then people think they're able to get the scanning code of practice so just letting you know it doesn't apply let's talk about an issue that happened recently so let's say you're going to the flyer and you're like oh my god the q-tips are two dollars you come to the store you scan it and then you realize it is a scanning higher. So in this case, yes, you are able to apply the scanning code of practice as long as it is the same item, right? So you'll make sure that it has a 170 in the flyer that is Q-tip, the same brand. Uh, just letting you know, you're not allowed to take the whole thing. It only applies for the first item. This is actually another amazing example. You come and you're like, oh my God, this is 394. You scan it and it comes out to five. Guys, it doesn't apply. Like you cannot get the scanning code of practice on things that have a price tag. If on the other hand, it didn't have anything, like for example, let me see if I find something else here. Mm, I think everything here has actually, oh, there you go. Like for example, these boots, it doesn't have a price tag, so you are able to do the scanning code of practice. But on items that have it, on the item, it does not apply. That's another amazing example. So you're walking and you're like, oh, look at this. This is 298, but then there's a mistake here, 598. But some people don't even take the time to actually go and scan the item. Okay, so they go and they take, I don't know, they take one or two. Let's say they take one. And then when they go to the scanner, it scans, 298 and I'm I'm being serious some people think that they could still get the scanning code of practice because they got it from here that it says 598 no guys you can't and then you need to check always like this is where I'm going you need to take the time if you're gonna do this do it right just take the time to check for the UPC they need to match this is the same item but as you notice, this is 03, this is 
zero four. They are not the same item, right? This this is supposed to be up there. So somehow the staff, or I'm guessing the staff, because it's a lot of them made a mistake. But still, scanning code of practice doesn't apply. 